Welcome back to the Mothership Stylers. I hope you guys are doing fabulous. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a lightsaber lipstick. Since uploading my BB-8 uh, EOS lip balm video, you guys <laughs> flooded my comments requesting this DIY. And I was so excited because just the idea of it is so magical. So I wanted to give it a try. After trying several different methods, I think I finally found one that's simple enough to recreate. If you guys have any other ideas for different kind of themed cosmetics, whether they be soap or lip balm or any other kind of makeup product, let me know in the comments below and I will do my very best to make it happen. Without further ado, let's get styling in a three, a two, and one. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> For today's project, you will need balloon lights, super glue, slim chapstick container, and some kind of product to fill into your container. For this, you can either use pre-made store-bought lip products, or you can make your very own lip balm or lipstick using your choice of wax and oil. These balloon lights are made to light up the inside of a balloon. I got mine off of Amazon, but I also assumed that they would carry this in party-oriented stores like Party City, so definitely check those places out. For this project, we're going to remove the top cap because we're going to insert the lipstick container or the chapstick container over that area. The cool thing about this is these balloon lights come in a ton of different colors, so you have a lot of freedom as far as the color of your lightsaber goes. They are the perfect size for um, our little project today, and they kind of look like the bottom of the lightsaber, which is pretty nifty. So when it comes to the choice of chapstick container, you can find just empty containers on eBay. Um, these are slim chapstick containers, and they're about 12 millimeters, so definitely make sure that you have the size right. Now, if you don't want to order it off Amazon or eBay, then you can go to the store and look for this other lip balm called uh, Blamtastic. Um, naturally committed skins lip balm. So for our first method, we are going to apply super glue <laughs> to the bottom of the chapstick. And this is using the Blamtastic lip balm. So this is pre-made. We don't have to really do much with the first version of this lightsaber lip balm slash lipstick. After you apply your super glue, just go ahead and attach it to the bottom of your lip balm to the balloon light and that's pretty much all there is to it. If you hold it upright, then what happens is the glue will kind of run down and help the two pieces attach to each other. So that's a little trick you can use. The most important part with this step is to just make sure you're kind of pushing them together so the pressure helps them to stick together. And this really, I mean, this dries really quickly, like within a matter of seconds almost. Now when you turn the bottom, it'll help your chapstick move out. And if you twist just the bottom metal piece, then you can turn the light on. So that's pretty much there. All there is to it, pretty simple, right? And when you turn it on in the dark, well, it looks just as magical as a lightsaber. Um, we're going to try two other methods after this piece so that we can see how it looks when the actual inside, like the actual lip balm, has a color to it, a tint to it. So let's move on to version numero dos. For the second version, I'm going to use this magic lipstick, which appears to be blue, but once you apply it to your skin, it slowly changes to a reddish color. Go ahead and cut off your lipstick. I know this looks painful, but it's not going to waste. After this, go ahead and transfer it to a heat safe cup or bowl or something like that. You guys know I love Dixie cups because you can just throw them away after you're finished using them. So I'm just transferring it to a Dixie cup. And what I like to do is I like to double up my cups because I find that sometimes the oil seeps through the first cup because it is paper. So this kind of just helps to keep your microwave you know, safe from all the spots and stains and whatnot. Now just go ahead and microwave your cup or bowl for two minutes until it's nice and melted. Before we pour it into the chapstick container, make sure to, to scroll down. Is that the word? Screw down, scroll down, so that the cap on the bottom of your container is at the bottom. Um, in this case, actually what happened was I, I didn't think that I had enough lipstick to pour in throughout the whole cap or whatever, so I didn't really screw it down all the way. So it's not like a necessity, but you want it to be at least moderately screwed down. 
All right, so now go ahead and fill in your chapstick container. Now, if you're using a Dixie cup, what usually tends to happen is as you pour in the lip product, some of it gets dried up or it kind of like built up on the walls of the cup. So what I usually have to do is after I pour in like the first batch, I have to go back to the microwave, remelt whatever is left inside, and then go ahead and like pour whatever else I can possibly pour. So you might have to run to the microwave two times for this, but that is okay. <laughs> Okie dokie, so now go ahead and screw up your lip balm. I know it's looking cray cray, but we're going to go ahead and fix this. So after you screw it up and you can see like a good amount of the lip balm at the surface or at the like edge of the container, go ahead and remove whatever looks kind of like messy and crazy. You can cut this off or smooth it out with your finger. The warmth from your finger will help to smoothen it out because, uh, because we're using coconut oil, you know, that tends to kind of melt away with heat. So that's why we're able to use our fingers to do that as well. Now, of course, as always, use your, you know, wash your hands before you do this because we don't want to contaminate our beauty products. Go ahead and take your hair dryer. Now, when you blow it onto the top of the container, uh, what will happen is the lip balm will start to kind of melt and smooth out a bit. So you can smooth out the surface using this little hair drying hack. Clean out whatever else you need to clean off from the container. Then uh, you pretty much have a nice little chopstick there. I know it's applying as blue, but if I had just filmed this a little bit longer, it would eventually turn red. So just trust me on this one, guys. This is a, uh, it's a magic lipstick, but of course there's nothing wrong with blue lips. Do you guys want more blue lipstick if you feel like it? Okay, so now to officially make this lightsaber lipstick. We're going to go ahead and apply super glue to the bottom as we did with our first lightsaber lipstick. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing we did in the first uh, version of this. This is quite possibly my favorite lip product that I've ever made because it doubles as a flashlight. I'm not even kidding you guys, this stuff is so bright, especially if you have multiple um, lightsaber lipsticks at once. So there you have it, you're like a little spy there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so moving on to version number three. Let's say you don't have a lip product and you wanna make it from scratch. We are going to do that. We are using candelia wax, which is plant-based. Now, if you guys don't like beeswax and you are vegan, um, or you prefer vegan makeup, then candelia wax is wonderful for you. It pretty much works the same as beeswax. Here, I'm adding two tablespoons of this stuff to a Dixie cup, which I found out was way too much. So I would say probably cut this half, this recipe in half because I ended up having way too much. Now I'm adding in two teaspoons of coconut oil. In place of this, you can use pretty much any oil, you guys. Get creative, have fun with it. I also love shea butter. If um, you guys are wanting to try something new, shea butter is another favorite of mine as far as making lip balms go. In order to give pigment to your lip product, go ahead and add in either a little bit of lipstick or eyeshadow. This is a much loved and used palette from Coastal Suns. I use this in almost all my videos because it's so inexpensive and it has a lot of crazy colors that I wouldn't normally wear on my eyes, so I have a lot to work with. So that's why I always use those. Now go ahead and microwave this for two minutes. So before you start to uh, pour, I would uh, recommend once again, screwing down the cap just ever so slightly, then go ahead and pour it into the container. Now I found out that I made it way too much for this. So I filled up several chapstick containers with the recipe ratio that I used here. After about 15 to 30 minutes, your lip balm should be solid. You can always stick it in the freezer to help speed up the process. After it's solid, go ahead and apply some super glue to the bottom and attach it to the balloon light. And there you have it, my friends, your very own lightsaber lipstick. This stuff is so epic. And thank you guys so much for requesting it. You're, you guys have an amazing imagination and I love you guys. I love you so much, okay? Oh, awkward, awkward. All right, sellers, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's DIY. If you guys ever recreate any of my projects, please show me on social media using the hashtag DIY with Sophie because I love to see your recreations. You guys are so talented and I love that you like to challenge yourself with difficult <laughs> projects. I feel like our makeup DIY category is more like a game. Do you guys ever feel like that? I kind of feel like that, I don't know, I don't know. Anyhow, um, you guys please take a moment to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. 
all under the same username so it's not so we can connect i love talking to you guys and i hope that we can continue to grow both on youtube and off of youtube why what what's this random motivational thing okay anyways anyhow anyhow what's that about here little one <laughs> luffy my dear Okay, calm down, little one, calm down. In today's Sophie Says, I wanted to share with you guys something that I recently kind of experienced, and that is the art of consoling a friend that is going through a breakup. Oh, the heartbreak. If you're in a relationship, and if your friends are in a relationship, that is fabulous. But if they are going through a breakup, that is a difficult time. The best thing you can do for a friend is to be there for them and to just listen. Now, a lot of the times people who are going through breakups feel like they are a burden, to their friends and don't really want to talk too much but as a good friend the best and easiest thing you can do is to just like listen to them so just tell them two words that will instantly make them feel better what else tell me more what else is going through your head and this will make them feel so relieved and just free to talk and vent and just have a nice cathartic little conversation so i hope this helps you guys and helps your friends who are going through breakups we are connecting telepathically because that's what we do that's what we do i love you guys ah i love you guys to the moon and i will see you soon keep sign what is happening oh no Okay, I think we're just gonna call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs>